Um, what I'm getting at is that I was stood up tonight. And I've never been stood up. So this is kind of my way of dealing with it, I guess, is just kind of talking about it. So, let's start from the beginning, shall we? I don't use Tinder a lot, okay? Tinder's weird. In my experiences, I've only used it, you know, a few weeks at a time and then I would cancel it and a few months go by, get lonely again and try it up again. Okay, I really think way too hard into it. Like I, I spend way too long building my my bio. I'll be swiping and see something on somebody else's bio and be like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta change this. Every match that I've had has just kind of either been like, I don't talk to them or, or they don't talk to me or if we're talking, it's only for a brief amount of time. It's weird. Okay, so I was using Tinder a few weeks ago. You know, swiping, swiping, swiping. Got a few matches. And then I got this one match that took me, took me aback after chatting with her for like a day. And the reasoning was because of how forward she was. And forward meaning like she was being very sweet to me. Okay? Typically, in my experiences, when I match with a girl on Tinder, I'm in the position to message first, to pay compliments, to kind of start the conversation up. Whereas this young woman, she was very forward in her compliments and we just kind of hit it off. It was different. I really felt a different vibe with her. She was foreign. She speaks multiple languages. She does ballet. What? She's a teacher. What? So. I start talking to this girl. I immediately, after like two or three days of talking to her, I, you know, disable my Tinder. I'm like, I don't need to look for anybody. This chick's great. Well, let's talk to her and see what's going on with this one. This is the one that stood me up tonight. Fast forwarding, because I can't really be mushy gushy as I was like the past two weeks. That's right, I've been talking to this girl for two weeks. I didn't want to think that she maybe was using me. Why would anybody want to think that? But that's all I can think of right now. So we finally set a date up and I was very excited. We planned it for this past Tuesday and all day Tuesday, I was like giddy as hell. Like I was at work and people were like, Zach, where's all this energy coming from? And I was like, you know, it's just coming from inside. Blah, blah, blah. So after work, I was very excited. I went to the flower shop and got her some flowers. Then I had to go to the grocery store because I didn't have time. I was out of eggs. I needed eggs for the next day, okay? I have to have eggs for breakfast, it's important. So I, I was going to Publix to get some eggs. As soon as I roll into Publix, I get a vibration on my phone. I'll check the phone and it's from her. And she says, hey, can we reschedule? I got in a car accident. I'm going to the hospital. And one of the first thoughts I had was maybe she's playing a prank on me. The day of the date, She's like trying to test me, I don't know. But then I was like, no, she wouldn't do that. And we just carried on to reschedule to Friday. And that was today. And up until that point, we were fine. We were just chatting like normal. And tonight, as it got closer and closer to seven, wasn't really replying to me. Wasn't really sending some messages. I was like, hmm, maybe she's getting ready. Maybe she's, you know, doing stuff. Earlier in the day, I was I was um, talking with my friend Shannon, and I was telling her about my date, and she kind of was like, I hope she's not a catfish. And when she said that, it was the first time I, I considered the fact that it could be a catfish. I was like, nah, nah. Why would it be a catfish? She's from Sweden. She knows three languages. She's really cute. And she went to Harvard, and she's in St. Petersburg, Florida, teaching middle school. Why would she be a catfish? So, from my conversation with Shannon earlier today, I was kind of, it was in the back of my head. And then as it got closer and closer to seven, and her replies weren't coming in, I was like, Oh, she's just getting ready. Like, I was just so in denial. 
and then it was almost seven and I was trying to listen to music to amp myself up but I was just I, I was in a funk I was in a funk and I went to the melting pot I went there without any of her replies or anything and I was just like yeah maybe she'll show up I waited outside for like 15 20 minutes told the hostess that to cancel the reservation and then I just went home that's where I'm at right now, here at home, by myself. And she still hasn't messaged me back. I tried to call her, but she did not pick up her phone. So I don't, of course I'm upset. I'm saddened. I just want to know the truth. It's more of like a long foreclosure. Uh, I gotta pee. I'm gonna end this. Sorry if it wasn't funny or comical, but you know what? Life isn't always funny. Life has its downs as well as its ups. And you can't truly appreciate the ups if you don't have the downs. So all in all, this experience with being stood up, maybe even being catfished has taught me, you know, some things that are not very clear to me right now, but will be. I hope you enjoyed this. If it brought you some insight entertainment at all out of my sorrow i don't know but i'm gonna keep on going so should you so should you so should you and keep doing what makes you happy and do what you love